Alright, so return back into the clutch of my Ohio Sun. Um, the aftermarket clutch I installed was uh, slipping a little bit, so I pulled it apart and checked the, uh, the clutch rings. And they are right at the factory specified minimum thickness, and they're brand new. So, how I'm going to compensate for this is I'm going to install an extra steel. Now, I did the math up on this, and it should bring me back to the thickness. Um, it won't put me near the maximum of the thickness of all the clutch plates together. So... Yeah, should work. Remember, there's steels. There's nothing important about them. They just go on. They're they're not like the clutch plates where there's uh, two different designs, uh, one on the inside and then the rest are the outside. So we're just going to install this. Um, you notice know, right up against here, I've managed to burn the back of it just a little bit. I don't know how well I can show that. So I think that's what's causing me the problem. But I got in there, machined it smooth. So got a real nice finish back there, which it doesn't really matter now because I'm placing the extra steel. And then, of course, our two washers. The flat one goes on the inside. The concaved one goes on the outside with the concave pointing out. Of course, if you look at your manual, you'll see that put that in there like so push it all the way back and then of course that steel brings everything else out quite nicely for us now I've got my uh, clutch plates they've been soaking for about a week so they should be good and ready let's go ahead and grab the first one this one you know, like these, I said, these are aftermarkets, um, Kevlar clutch plates. This is what the first one in there looks like. Has no uh, nicks on the side of the bands. I don't know if you can really tell or care, but the, all the other ones have little nicks, see right there? I guess that's for helping pull it out or something. I don't really know what that's for, but it's it's there. That's the only way I've found to tell them apart, other than, of course, getting out and measuring this thickness right here. Not that thickness, but the width of the engaging face of the clutch plates. And that goes in there just like that. Make sure it's on that washer that we put in there so it's all the way back and not there we go now for steel next get in there Steel. There's seven clutch plates and six steels. I don't know what other bikes are like, maybe more or less. When I put them in, I line up the notches so they're easier to take back out. I don't know how most other people do it. It doesn't specify in the Ohio Sun manual how it should be done. Go ahead and dip some oil on that steel. Just because. Alright, next clutch plate. Again, keeping the notches. It does actually make it easier to pull out and all those notches are lined up. Get a 
not necessarily a screwdriver back up in there, but if you take a um, piece of drill rod and bend the end of it, it makes a pretty nice hook. You can get it back up in there. It makes it nice. Grab that last steel plate and pull the whole assembly out. All seven of them will fall out very nicely. Anytime something's easy to take apart, it's very nice. I, of course, do this. I never have to take off this bolt. So, I don't actually know what's behind there. That's this bearing in the center is your throw bearing for when you actually de depress the clutch. I guess if my problem still doesn't go away, I may have to shorten that rod a little bit, this rod right here, to actually decrease my throw so I get better clutch engagement. Surely I won't have to uh, resort to that. There we go. Next steel. And of course I have these soaking in new motor oil. <clears throat> Just the specified weight for the bike. Um, nothing special about it. It's just used new oil so you don't have all the crud from your used oil soaking up in there too. Notch. Okay. Last ring. go. Last clutch plate. Alright. Now it's on. We're a lot closer to flush with that. That's nice. Brings everything out. Alrighty. Now I just gotta this on. I don't understand why this ring right here doesn't have a steel component. I realize that the clutch should never be engaging with that surface, but I still think there should be a safeguard just in case because it actually does clamp onto it. I mean, there's no play in it, but there's still some engagement. Oh crap. Ah, I vacuum locked it. When I pulled it back off, it slid. Push that back on. Grab my clutch plates. Oh, let's look where that notch is. Line the notch up. Maybe I'll get lucky here and I'll slide on. Nope. <laughs> oh, great. Still in clutch play. There we go. There we go. And last still. Last clutch play. Alright, got them back on. Still got the notches lined up. All of them all the way back to the first clutch plate. And of course there's a steel washer right there. I guess I could have fixed my own problem by removing the washer, but that is a bearing race for that center bearing. I guess maybe if I thinned it, I don't know. I would never suggest doing that. 
but I still think this this race right here should be steel, or at least have a steel washer there. Maybe that's what I should have done. I should have put the steel on the outside instead of the inside. That probably would have made more sense. Probably. But anyways. The um, bolts that go in the spring retainers. Of course, you got six springs. Spring goes on there like that. And you got this bolt with a uh, washer on it. Focus. Yeah, probably not. Um, there's no torque specified in the manual for these. And I just get them tight. You'll film the lock up when you put it together. I don't know why there's not a torque, but probably 30 foot pounds I'd say is what I'm putting on there maybe not even that much I don't know I, I I would think that the manual would specify torque but it doesn't but anyways that's about all there is to it just repeat that until they're all on there and then you screw these all the way down until they lock up they actually lock up against that. Um, let me grab another one here. The face of this will lock all the way up against the face of that. And you'll feel it lock up. When, when it locks up, just snug it down good, make it tight, and everything should be fine. But uh, that's all there is to it on the clutch on a Hyosun or really any other motorcycle.